secretly being studied now you don't have a program studying ufos if there's nothing to them the second revelation was the nimitz case that happened in 2004 there's a lot more to that case than we were able to report but we got that case out there in the public we were going to do high fidelity air defense training Watch the good guys off the Nimitz, watch the emotional bad guys off the beach, and they go at it. Captain comes down to combat and says, hey, sir, um, you know, we've been tracking these objects for days now. If we launch aircraft and we hit one of these, someone's going to ask you and me both why we were so damn and curious. That's a very persuasive argument. What did the captain say? He looks at me sternly. You're right. So you're chief. Intercept and VID. Visually ID it. And Commander Fravor happened to be airborne. Top Gun train guy. And as he began to close the gap, the Tic Tac recognized and began to react to his movement. It sees him, and he recognizes as a fighter pilot that it's engaging with him. And so he's spiraling down like this. It's coming up to him. And he's in a dogfight. And he screams out to his colleagues, I'm engaged! So it's intelligently responding. It is to his absolutely movement. intelligent responding so to his actions. Very, that's very important, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's this not, is. It's not a dumb object. Correct. And it began to take evasive maneuvers to counter and maintain distance between his aircraft that was closing in, by the way, an F 18 at the time, Super Hornet, one of the most premier aircraft on the planet at the time. And this thing had no problem keeping pace. You're seeing whatever this object was. Yeah, I've seen it on radar. So I'm you're picking it. it up on radar. I've seen time. him do the intercept. And as soon as he's at the merge plot, that object went, went from 28,000 feet to the surface of the ocean in 0.78 seconds. 